Hello everybody and welcome back. Today our topic is going to be about the lead vectors. A lead can be represented as a vector, which is the lead vector. It can be directed for bipolar leads from the negative towards the positive electrode. So bipolar is from negative to positive. And for the unipolar leads, it can be from the midpoint of the axis connecting the electrodes that make up the compound electrode towards the active electrode, which is the positive. So it's from the electrodes that make up the compound electrode towards the active electrode, which is the positive. Now for the heart vectors. The heart vectors are instantaneous cardiac activity can be approximated as a single dipole and represented as a vector, which is the heart vector. The location, orientation and intensity of a heart vector varies according to the pattern of cardiac activation. So location, orientation and intensity can vary according to the cardiac activity. From heart vectors to ECG waves. The amplitude and polarity of the lead cardiac potentials sensed in a lead are proportional to the size of the projection of the heart vector on the lead vector. So amplitude and polarity are equal to the size of the projection of the heart vector on the lead vector. The projection of the heart vector points toward the positive pole of the lead. The lead records a positive potential which goes to a positive wave on the ECG. So if it's towards positive, it records a positive potential and records a positive wave on the ECG. So this is for A. Now for B, the projection is directed away from the positive pole of the lead which forms the lead records a negative potential and a negative wave is recorded on the ECG. So if it's from positive to negative, it records a negative potential and it's a negative wave on the ECG. The ECG waves are fluctuations in extracellular voltage recorded by each lead. The A, which is the heart vector during ventricular activation. For the B, C and D, they are projections of A on leads 1, 2 and 3 with the resultant waves of the ECG recording. This is a normal picture of an ECG with the intervals and segments and waves. So this was everything for today, the next video is going to be about the waves and characteristics of every wave on the ECG. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon again in the next video.